Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Muhammad Nayamal versus Melsik Basanganai. Basanganai? Ba no. Basanganari? Basanganarian? Basanganai. Uh, Nayamal 11 and 2. Basically a pick -em. 29 years old. 5'9 with a 70 inch reach. Melsik 8 and 2. 4 and 1 in his last 5 fights. That one loss is against... Josh Kulubau, submission, rear naked choke. Then he came back and he beat Tucker Lutz in a pretty uneventful fight. 32 years old, 5'9", with a 70-inch reach. This fight is going to be awesome. And really what I think it comes down to is Naimamov being a little bit more well-rounded. Eight finishes, but three by submission, five by KO. Only lost to a decision. I did think Nathaniel won, would, won that decision. Destroyed Jamie Malarkey, but everybody does that. Lost to Colin England, who did fight in Bel Melsic. I believe he fought Melsic. Yep. Lost to him by head kick and punches. Uh, he's actually been finished three out of finished three out of uh, four la four of his last fights. Destroyed by James Brown. Hold on. Not good. That's not good. Jesus. Seven wins in a row. And, uh, ten finishes. One. He's been finished five times in his career. Yikes. I mean, kickboxing a lot. Jordan Weeks beat him. James Rumley beat him. Devon Blackshear beat him in 2016. Though, he was, he is 3 and 5. Was 3 and 5. And now he's 10 and 5. So I guess, congratulations. Congrats. Means nothing, really. But again, <laughs> I like Nyamov. I think he is well, he's a little bit more well rounded. I think he can uh, uh, change. Change the pacing of the matchup. Like in the thing he won, he did a lot of uh, pushing against the cage, dirty boxing, things like that. You know, Melsic is going to want to keep it on the outside, look for his kicks, look for his combinations. I don't think Naim Naimov is going to give him the space to do that. I like Muhammad Naimov to get the job done. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, let me know you're picking. We'll talk about it in the comment section. Peace.